Okay, so my name is Vitold, Vitold Valigura. Um, I run a small security team back in Wrocław, Poland. Uh, I am in security business for about 12 years now. I started uh, with reverse engineering and high performance computing, so a lot of GPU work and NVIDIA in particular. And after that, we transitioned more into hardware security. So we do uh, physical attacks, side channel attacks, um, and uh, for example, if you have a re recent, uh, recently issued ATM card, there's a chance that some code of ours is there. Okay. <laughs> well, so uh, so we do embedded IoT security as well. And okay. we're primarily a software company. We don't develop our own hardware, but we help others secure theirs. Cloud VA. So uh, the the the. The long short story is that 2020, we had a hardware security project going on and due to lockdowns, we lost access to our own lab. Okay, uh, so that's we, scary. <laughs> so we had to, just to continue the project, we had to make this online mm -hmm. immediately. And after we make, made it online, we figured, okay, we have this web interface across mm -hmm. all this hardware. So let's do GitHub integrations. Let's do chat GPT integrations when it came out. And basically that's the cloud today. So, uh, of course, we do also consulting and software development. Mm -hmm. uh, so we write crypto libraries. Uh, but with, with the Cloud VA specifically, with the product, uh, the idea is that a small IoT vendor would send us a hardware sample when they, uh, they have one. Uh, and then they can iterate software in a standard GitHub CI pipeline with side channel attacks like a regression test, mm -hmm. which nobody does at the moment. So that's the, the important bit that we can iterate software and have side channels like, like a test. <laughs> Globally, uh, generally, basically, uh, we don't have many customers at the moment. We are just coming out. So basically, mm -hmm. the GPT integration can, it will be public tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Basically, we do global. We, we help companies globally. And uh, we aim to lower the cost of IoT and embedded side channels at least 10x. Mm -hmm. So basically, currently, uh, if you're a big vendor, you can afford full certification process, which is, by the way, about 300,000 euros per attempt to do a full side channel analysis uh, for certification. Uh, we think that for IoT specifically, this is too expensive. This is not achievable. And, and, and if you look at the products today, they just have like zero countermeasures against side channel attacks. So just do, they don't do it at all. Mm -hmm. and, and we think first things first, they should, because we can easily break these products. And second, uh, we need to lower the cost down so that they can actually afford it. So the talk is about use of ChatGPT in hardware security. Mm -hmm. So basically, we taught ChatGPT to perform one of the hardware attacks on its own on real hardware. So ChatGPT generates the code for the attack itself. So basically, uh, for this particular side channel attack, you need uh, power measurements. Mm -hmm. So you, you need to, to precisely measure power that the chip consumes. We use this. Uh, we use oscilloscopes for that. So we connect an um, STM32 in this particular mm -hmm. case uh, chip to an oscilloscope. Uh, we give then we give ChatGPT access to an API which. Uh, through which it can uh, per collect power traces, okay. and then it can run analysis on these power traces. Okay. So ChatGPT can break in with TLS, WolfSSL, all those open source public libraries easily, uh, which is also my argument for side channel attacks. So yes, the barrier of entry is high initially, but once you cross it, the attacks are very portable. So we have one in particular attack against advanced encryption standard, encryption and decryption. Uh, the same attack works across like seven different chips across all major uh, crypto open source crypto libraries without any changes. Okay. The same code. So this is a def defensive tool. So uh, you need physical access to the device. Yes. So it has to be connected to our infrastructure. So there's no risk of you know getting it getting out of control. Yeah. Uh, but yes, you would use this defensively, like a blue red scenario. You would run. Uh, you would run 
site channel attacks and uh, iteratively improve your software. Okay. La next year, I hope to get uh, ChatGPT to actually, or other LL LLM to actually train itself. Okay. We have infrastructure for an attacks, but now we can uh, have the LLM generate countermeasures and evaluate them uh, with the API that we provided, and hopefully we can get it to learn mm -hmm. that way. So uh, I'm spreading awareness about side channel attacks primarily because low awareness is very low. Mm -hmm. Most people are not aware of, of these low level attacks. Most people, you know, attack software, we attack mm -hmm. level below that. Mm -hmm. um, and most people think that it's black magic, like very hard <laughs> rocket science thing, and it's really not. That it is, you know, there are mathematical models, but it's not as as complicated as people think. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think with IoT explosion, uh, you have these sensors and uh, locks uh, around your home, not in your home, but around your home, and they have access to your data, to your mm -hmm. networks, uh, but they are essentially in hostile environment. So in this type of scenario, uh, we can break these devices in seconds, really. Um, and uh, we we think uh, we think these kinds of attacks will eventually will, will at some point explode. Okay. So basically, some people will figure out that these are easy to do in practice and in physical uh, world, and uh, there will be a huge explosion in these kinds of attacks at some point. Yes, but I can't talk about it okay. because the response to disclosure is not. Okay. Them. But it, I can tell you it's a crypto wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, possibly I will attend Hardware I.O. next year. Uh, I try to aim at, you know, hardware conferences mm -hmm. primarily and also Black Hat maybe, depending on, on, on our schedule. Uh, we're looking for investors also okay. at the conference uh, today as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we try to spread the word where, where we can. So uh, we're looking primarily uh, the, the, the product that we did. This is not really a production uh, system yet, but we think, uh, we think it's, uh, it's very promising, in particular the part where GPT uh, train its, trains itself, because that's the bottleneck in AI mm -hmm. the, the generating the, the samples for it to learn. Um, and so we're looking for investors who, who could uh, who understand that technology, possibly who could use use the technology them, themselves. And it doesn't really have to be side channels, really, because for us, side channels is a nice demonstration that it can really that, that the model is powerful. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's really a question of switching uh, the data source to something else. We can do other attacks as well. Mm -hmm. So, but we're looking for for people for uh, companies who understand technology and uh, who understand the potential. Mm -hmm. so we are completely self-funded. We uh, we do consulting. We fund our R and D with our own uh, consulting, and we also have an R and D project uh, co-funded by Polish government. So there are six people, four engineers, uh, okay. and uh, including me, actually. You're based in Poland? Also? Yes, we're based in Wrocław, Poland. Mm -hmm.